Batik Sanket Ikat. Three models in elaborately patterned fashion ensembles with the words Batik, Sanket, and Ikat below. Batik. Windy Widi is the daddy of Norzara. Shamlan Kanan of Kanan and Dian Pelangi have all been inspired by the traditional pattern dyeing technique batik. In hand drawn batik or tulis, women draw the designs on cotton or silk cloth using a chanting, a pen like tool with a bamboo handle and a copper spout for melted wax. A length of fabric is dabbed with a handheld tool that resembles a thin pipe with a tiny spout. The wax can also be applied by a metal stamp or cap. This is typically done by men in printing workshops. At another work table, a square stamp is pressed onto a cloth, extending the existing pattern. After dyeing, the batik is placed in boiling water to remove the wax and repeated if multiple colors are desired. Batik motifs show a variety of regional influences. Across Indonesia, batik is worn proudly on ceremonial occasions. Batik is listed as a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity. Sanket. Many of Dian Pelangi's designs incorporate a machine woven version of Sanket, which is traditionally hand woven in Sumatra. At fashion shows, female models wear clothing and head wraps in metallic woven silks. A weaver's feet are seen manipulating the loom's treadles. Like brocade, Sanket is patterned with supplemental weft threads of silver or gold. She selects the warp threads to create the pattern. Sanket designs often end with a row of tumpal, a triangular motif also found in batik and baskets from Sumatra and Borneo. Historically, sanket were produced under royal patronage and worn by high-ranking families. Today, these highly prized silks are worn by men and women for wedding ceremonies. Ikat Itong Yunaz has long been inspired by the elaborate ikat dyed fabrics of the region. In ikat, which derives from the Malay word mengikat, or to tie, the warp threads are tie-dyed in complex patterns before weaving. A woman binds areas of bundled white warp threads with blue plastic. The dyed threads are stretched on the loom and then woven by women on backstrap looms. Here, Yunas pay homage to the spectacular ingi cloths worn by noble men of East Sumba as shoulder mantles and sarong. Yunas blue and white ika designs are inspired by Sumbanese hingi kawaru, or indigo ika textiles. The patterns are inspired by figurative ika from East Sumba featuring stylized humans and marine animals.